Well, hello there, fellow DIYers. Today we are going to make flagged shorts. You might have seen other DIYs on this before, but hear me out because there's a couple of tricks in here that would be useful for other projects. First, find a pair of high-rise jeans from the early 90s. I scored a pair of Lees at the thrift store for just only 3 bucks. Next, you'll want to try them on for size. Make the markings for your short shorts. I made them a little bit longer so I can roll them up later. Fold them jeans in half and snip off the bottom. Print out a few templates of stars or other shapes that makes your DIY heart burst. Now here's the trick. You'll use the Glad Press and Seal Saran Wrap to create stencils. This is actually thicker than regular Saran Wrap and I know you guys will ask this, but do not use regular Saran Wrap. It does not work. Anyways, this stuff has a sticky side and a non-sticky side. You'll cut off a piece about the same size as your template and lay it down so that the sticky side is showing. Place the template facing down onto the stickiness and smooth out all the lump and bumps as best as you can. Flip the template over and use an X-Acto knife to cut out your shapes. To make it easier on me, I remove the whole star away from the sheet of paper. Now I peel the wrap away from the paper and I carefully place the sticky side down onto my jeans where I want the shape to show up. So the stinky part about this is that you'll have to repeat this as many times as you need to. For the stripes, I stuck with masking tape because it's the easiest way to get straight lines. Lay them down straight or in my case, super crooked so I don't have to worry about uniformity later on. I'm going to use soft fabric paint for this and I got these at Michael's craft store for about $2 each. Using a sponge, I stipple the paint onto the stencil. Try to avoid using a paintbrush because you can end up pushing paint under the stencil and screwing up your shapes. If you like, you can just use a super old makeup sponge that is way past its time. Let it dry for about 3 hours and carefully remove the masking tape and remove the saran wrap. If you are satisfied, then surely stop here, but I'm all about the distressing. So I cut a slit into my jeans, and I know you've seen people pull threads with their fingers, but actually denim is a twill, so here's a cool way to distress and leaving the strings intact. Flip the jeans inside out, and use a pin to pull on the horizontal threads. The first few will be loose threads, but afterwards, the strands will start to connect on both sides of the cut. Sometimes you have to trim the fringe off if you have pulled too many threads. This helps it from getting tangled and make things go faster. So ta-da! $7 cutoffs that is totally you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram of DIY sneak peeks and giveaways. Make requests on my Facebook or just keep rocking on fashionistas. I'll see you guys later and remember to have fun. Bye!